Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Psych Files, what psychology is really all about. Today, I'm going to talk about how are you going to get great grades. So how are you going to do well on tests? Some new information out, and I'm going to just dive right in. I've got five techniques, but here are the five. First, retrieval practice. The idea here is testing yourself is a lot more effective than studying your notes again. It's much more effective if, you know, because you hear that, right? Students say, oh, i got to look over my notes. Don't look over your notes. Test yourself. All right, we'll go into a little more detail later on. Second one, test yourself again and again. So don't just test yourself once. Do it and do it again until you have, you know, you're sort of tired of testing yourself. Go into that a little bit later. Number three, explain whatever it is you're trying to learn. Explain it to yourself or to somebody else. So when there's nobody around, walk around the room and talk to yourself. That's how you learn and get things into the old noggin is to explain it to yourself or somebody else if they're willing to sit there and listen to you as you lecture them. Number four, distinctiveness. Uh, This is uh, the idea that make sure that you know how whatever it is you're learning is different from something else. You know, you might get questions on a test about compare and contrast. You don't have to call it that. But as you're walking around the room, talking to yourself, try to find out how whatever it is you're trying to learn, how is it similar in some way? How is it similar to some other idea? And how is it different? That's number four. Number five, personal. So apply it to your own life whenever you can. So again, you're walking around, you're talking out loud, people are seeing you. But nowadays, unlike back in my day, You can imagine those people think you've got a a little cell phone in your ear, and uh, you can always claim to have been talking to someone. Uh, But as you do that, then make sure – think about, well, in other words, it would be like this in my life, personal. So there's the five. Uh, Number one, practice instead of restudy. Number two, practice again and again until you're tired of it. Number three, explain it to yourself or to someone else. Number four, distinctiveness. Make sure you understand how it's different than something else. Number five, make it personal. And the warning, beware of familiarity. All right, so if something sounds familiar and maybe you're studying or practicing and you go, oh, yeah, 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 I've seen that before. Uh, you know, it sounds familiar. You do not know it just because you're You think it's familiar to you, right? You've heard it before. That doesn't mean you know it. And that's what can lead some students to say, oh, I don't need to study that because I've seen it before. Okay? You need not necessarily to study it. You need to practice 